This is really interesting. A few weeks back, 13 mysterious mummies were discovered in an Egyptian well. And when our producer, Mike Shoemaker, who also worked at SNL forever, saw that news story on Twitter, he posted it, adding, these kinds of news stories always make me think, oh, if I was at SNL, it would be great for Sandberg to come on update as a mummy who just got disturbed. And then our head writer, Alex Bays, who was also head writer for Weekend Update when I was there, and therefore immediately understood the kind of thing Andy Sandberg might say as a recently disturbed mummy, responded to that tweet with, aw man, my doink fell off. The whole thing made me long for the time when that could have happened, but then I realized, I have a show. I can text Sandberg. We're not talking about the debate until tomorrow night. So joining us now from Egypt, please welcome a recently disturbed mummy. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, Seth. Seth, Seth, is that Egyptian? Yeah, it's not that far off. Hey, thanks so much for being here. Oh, yeah, it's really <laughs> great to be here, um, Seth. Are you okay? You seem, seem like you might be in a really bad mood. Oh, oh do I? <laughs> Sorry. But, you know, I just got woken up after 2,500 years of full-on snoozing. I mean, I was in deep REM. Oh, oh is that me? All oh, right, the hummus. Hey, word of warning, don't chow down a bunch of garlicky foods before they wrap your mouth closed for hundreds of years. Uh, yeah, speaking of that, you seem pretty lightly wrapped for a mummy. Yeah, you know, I usually have more, but got to conserve the TP because of the demic gonna re-roll it when we're done with this. <laughs> so what was it what was it like to be woken up after 2,500 years? Okay, so like you know that <laughs> thing where you fall asleep on the couch in the afternoon and then you wake up and it's dark out and you're like, ah, what the hell? What day is it? Yeah, sure. Okay, so it's kind of like that, but with an archaeologist shining a flashlight in your face and screaming. And you can't hit snooze on that, Seth. Yeah, it does sound uh, rough. Now, look, I don't know a, a lot about ancient Egypt, but I do remember right. reading that sometimes pharaohs or other people of means would have the servants buried with them when they died. So I guess my question is, were you a pharaoh or a servant? Okay, well, do you remember reading about pharaohs who cleaned up their own camel Because that was <laughs> death my job. Okay, so, so it sounds like you were a servant. Uh, yeah, you think? <laughs> and it was literally my first day on the job, Seth. It was like, here's the break room. Here's your uniform. Oh, hey, bad news. The boss man just died. So now we're going to pull your brain out through your nose and put you in a box. And I'm like, do I at least have time to brush my teeth? Because I just mowed down a fat tub of hummus and my mouth smells like a butt. But they're like, nope, we got to do this now. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. It it sounds like you got a really raw deal. Well, it's not so bad, you know? At least I was buried in a pyramid. A guy could do worse. Oh. Oh? Oh, what? It's just the mummies weren't found in a pyramid. They were found in a well. Well. Yeah, well. No, no, I heard you. You didn't let me finish. Oh, uh, oh, go ahead. Well, that <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, now I'm really ticked off, and you left me no choice but to rain down a mummy's curse upon this land. Frog! Sorry, frog. Singular. Yeah, it's kind of a dinky plague, you know, just one frog. Got to conserve because of the demic. So, so what's next for you? You know, just doing a bunch of interviews. You know, we got a, a Larry King in an hour. And that'll be fun, because we used to play squash together. Hey, people still make jokes about how Larry King's old, right, Seth? Yeah, yeah, every now and then. Yeah, I see, I see that. So even the mummies think that. Ah, oh, that's cool. Hey, any uh, final thoughts before you go? I have to go? <laughs> oh, man. I, I was going to stick around and check out Phoebe Bridgers. <laughs> You're, you're welcome to watch on the feed. I like, she wears a skeleton outfit, and that reminds me of a mummy. We're like kind of simpatico. I thought maybe I could play tambourine or something. Yeah. Look, uh, my last thoughts, <laughs> since you asked, are only this. And feel free to add dramatic music under this later. The history exists to remind us that our actions have consequences, Seth. 
You know, if the discovery of my body buried 2,500 years ago can have one positive effect, let it be to remind everyone alive today that there will be those 2,500 years in the future who will live on the earth you leave. Oh! What was that? My doing <laughs> fell off! Andy? Oh, wait, it's Andy. Andy Samberg, everyone. Oh, I didn't realize. You can... What? <laughs> I only recognize you from this part of your head, the, this, the, the circle around it. So what you're saying is, this is the best character ever, and it, now you're going to have a bobblehead of this on your desk instead of that dog <laughs> Stefan one. We'll be right back with Sarah Silverman.